so hi everyone my name is ayan and in this tutorial i'll be introducing you guys to ibm s400 and uh, gradually moving forward we'll be doing some basic s400 task and later on we'll be moving into cobol programming language which nowadays there is a lot of uh, i mean not a lot of resources available in the internet or specifically in youtube so i'll be going through each and every stuffs where i faced issues with uh, doing while doing doing cobol programming so i hope this video helps you and later on i will be uploading uh, more videos on cobol and as400 so stay tuned to know all the basics of the cobol and as400 so basically this is what i'm running is pub400 pub400 is ibm's uh, public server which is available for everyone uh, you should not use it for commercial purpose mm, there you will can find all the terms and conditions in there only so first and foremost we'll be heading into google chrome and in chrome you can in, in your, any of your browser you can just type in pub400 and search it and so the first one will open up pub400.com and uh, when you open this uh, this page will come up in front of you what is pub 400 and pub or some rules and regulation and all everything you here you can find your uh, different uh, tools and everything libraries then you can find chat support with other people join the community and everything so basically we're just going to start this so we'll just hit sign up now as i have already signed up uh, this page will open up for you so you have to just enter your uh, first name, your last name, email address. Uh, make sure this email address is accessible to you because all of your credentials and everything will be sent to this email address. After you successfully sign up, you'll be receiving one email address. Verifying that address, you'll be receiving another email address where you will receive the public, uh, uh, like uh, you will receive your credentials to log in. So now basically what we have to do is uh, you have to head on to you have to download some emulator. The emulator is something where your is 400 will run. So you can just uh, type in the TN52. I've already uh, searched for this TN5250 emulator. Just hit enter and this will open up uh, like uh, mochasoft.dk. Uh, you can just uh, go you i suggest you go into this website uh, tn5250j.org uh, from here directly you can uh, download from here you will be redirected to a github source so basically uh, you just hit download and you'll be redirected to this uh, github page where you have to down download uh, um, where you have to download i think this zip file you download this zip file i have already downloaded this so after you download this zip file just unpack it after unpacking it you will get this tn5250 this this particular icon will get in the particular folder and sorry for the background noises there are some dogs barking in the street so uh, i can't do anything sorry for that anyways um, after you make a connection how you uh, everything will be guided there how to make a connection and everything uh, but anyways i'll show you once uh, to make a connection you uh, just uh, um, where is the ad uh, you click on the ad and uh, there you give your system name say i'll give just uh, as 400 and uh, uh, just keep it like that way just go to the ip and you can ip most of the ip is uh, uh, pub400.com yes it is a dns name uh, okay so just give the device name and add uh, you don't have to give ip address you can just type pub400.com and all and everything just then you can just uh, get get your uh, look get get it set up in your local system and just hit connect so you'll be uh, redirected into the emulator tn25 ac right here tn5250 j emulator uh, initially you will get your uh, address uh, sorry initially you'll get your username my username is h a s h a y a n and i have my password uh, first time you'll be asked to change your password and uh, you'll be forced to change your password change your password so you have to change your password to anything you like so that's all for the installation part uh, you can just now head into your look uh, for you can access ibmi server power 400 from your local system if you already have 
learned COBOL or you have already learned A400, then you can just uh, go into here. You can just, uh, a lot of you will not understand this command as you are a beginner. Uh, but uh, who, whoever knows this stuff, they can understand what uh, work member PDM means. So basically you can uh, go into here and you can access everything, access your library. Mm. Uh, so okay so i'll just keep this video until here this was just a setup video i hope this helps if you are facing any issues with this setup you can definitely comment down below and i'll definitely try to help you uh, the best i can and that's it for this video guys stay tuned on the next video we'll discuss about basic concepts of s400 basic uh, some libraries and some files and all everything uh, we'll dive into cobol programming a uh, bit later uh, after two or three videos because we need to get introduced to s400 system so please stay tuned and if you like the video if you it, if it helped you be sure to drop a like and comment down your uh, questions if you have any i'll definitely help you out okay thanks bye bye